What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hopefully everybody had an amazing weekend. As you guys know, I have to announce last week's $50 giveaway winner like I do every single week and this week happens to be once again a woman. I absolutely love women who play DFS. I love the couples, the husband and wives who both play DFS and compete against each other. Those are like the best relationships. I don't know if this is a husband using his wife's YouTube account or if it's actually a woman but Angela Delgado, you are the winner of the $50 PayPal. I will be sending that straight over to you. Hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. So I can send that right to you. Shout out to everybody who commented down in the comments sections. Go ahead and do the same thing now. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel and comment anything down in the comments section for your chance to win $50 next Monday. I will be announcing that. Okay. Also, one more announcement and then I'll get straight into the high five, which is fire today, by the way. There will be no more cheat sheet. I decided, you know what? My main thing is since I started this is consistently helping people dominate okay on a consistent basis okay the mlb cheat sheet with me having so many other things to do it has affected the consistency of wins like i'm used to you know what i'm saying we're still winning but i'm used to winning much 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 more frequently than i was able to do with the cheat sheet because i had so much other things going on in my head i had to do the player pool i had to make sure i left certain spots out and I, I, you know it, it was just a lot going on so now we're just going back to full okay DraftKings has other shit to worry about right now um <laughs> it's all good i don't give a shit anyways okay it's time to really get to this shit and i know a lot of people went scrambling and shit once i changed to the cheat sheet i know a lot of people like the cheat sheet and the cheat sheet something we'll also offer later on we'll add it on and offer it but as of right now we're going to go back to the og style um the og cam style and go ahead and just start taking shit over i'm going to go ahead and do the full for all three sites um like normal okay so go ahead and go to greenlightdfs.com and join the squad and let's go ahead and get it starting off with the first pitcher i am going he's too cheap jose barrios at home in minnesota going against the detroit team that is very heavy righties okay now if you don't know you're about to know jose barrios is really really good versus right-handed bats okay he strikes out 23 percent of righties holding them to a 242 average Detroit's lineup happens to be very heavy righties. I think Jose Barrios has a very good game here against Detroit. Lock him in as the first pitcher. Next pitcher I'm going with is Walker Bueller. I love him at home in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a pitcher-friendly ballpark. He's going against a Colorado team that is not in Colorado. That's the first plus. Second plus, he's a righty, so he takes away the uh, platoon split for Arenado and Story. Okay, he only really has to worry about Carlos Gonzalez and Blackman. But other than that, Bueller has been pitching very, very consistently. He's a guy that you pretty much know what you're going to get. Colorado is projected to only score 3.4 runs uh, by Vegas. So I love Bueller here. I love both of these pitchers as a very solid uh, duo of pitchers and allows you to get pretty much the, the bats that you want. Okay, starting off at first base, I really love Baltimore today against Santiago, the lefty. Okay, there's a lot of righties in this Baltimore lineup that crush lefties, and Mancini is one of them. 190 ISO, 356 Woba, averages a 300 average uh, versus lefties, and Santiago struggles versus righties in the power department. He gives up a 204 ISO. So expect these righties of Baltimore. Okay, expect Mancini, expect Adam Jones, expect Machado. All of those guys are very good plays here. And Mancini at 3,800, lock them in. Second base. I vowed to never play him again last time I played him because he really killed me. Against lefties, I, I'm sticking to it against Hardy. Um, it's just an amazing matchup for Brian Dozier. And his price has plummeted because of his recent production has been down. But we all know what Brian Dozier is capable of. At 3900 that is way too cheap for a guy like Brian Dozier. Okay, he, He's got the 25 point plus upside that these big dogs all have. Dozier's one of the best hitters in the league. He's just in a little cold streak right now. Take advantage of that price reduction against the lefty. He's one of the best in the league versus lefties. A 276 ISO and a 386 Woba. 
and Hardy gives up over a 300 average versus right-handed bats. So expect Minnesota to also be another good stack. Brian Dozier leading the way of that at only 3,900. Last but not least at shortstop, another stack I really love is New York against Bartolo Colon. As we know, DD has been absolutely phenomenal so far this season. He's gotten off the last few games. I expect him to be back here against Bartolo Colon, the righty. Didi's got a 199 ISO and a 338 Woba, and he's been absolutely crushing the baseball. He's been hitting with a lot of power. New York's one of the higher projected totals. I love Didi Gregorius. I love Tyler Austin um, at first base. I love Aaron Judge. I love Stanton. I mean, if you have the money, go ahead and pay up and get these New York bats because I absolutely love them versus Bartolo Colon in Texas, which is a very hitter-friendly ballpark. And trust me, it has been super hot out here. And to add to it, we got a lot of rain yesterday, so it's been humid. Okay, so not only is it hot, but it's humid. And when it's humid and hot, the ball flies a long ways. Okay, so expect the power of this New York offense to really shine through here against Bartolo Colon in Texas. This could, they could end up scoring a shit ton of runs. I love a New York stack, and D.D. Gregorius is the guy I'm going with at only 3,900. Lock him in. And that's it, guys. Jose Barrios, Walker Bueller, Trey Mancini, Brian Dozier, and D.D. Gregorius. If for some reason D.D. does not play, I'll go with the other young boy who's been super hot lately. If D.D. does not end up playing, because the last two games he's been out, so we'll have to see. I would expect him to be back, but if he happens to not play here in Texas... I'm cool with going Tyler Austin, who's right there in the same price range. He plays first base, so put Mancini in the outfield and put Tyler Austin at first base. Um, I, I love Aaron Hicks. I love, I love Brett Gardner. I love all these New York guys. They're probably my top stack of the day, honestly, against Cologne because I just know this weather is so juicy for hitters out here right now. Okay, humid and hot. Remember that. I am in Texas, and I'm telling you. I'm very close to Arlington, and it is humid and hot. You want to stack up New York bats? I absolutely think that New York power is going to be too much here in Texas. All right, so stack them up. And that's it, guys. Good luck, everybody. I hope you kill it. If you want to join the squad, go to greenlightdfs.com and sign up with your boy. If you have any questions about anything, hit me up on Twitter at Cam underscore ATL. Like the video down below. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway. And subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.